High voltage electrical transmission is the bulk transfer of electrical energy over long distances from generating plants, largely hydroelectric in BC, to substations located near demand and population centers. The high voltage power transmission lines are connected to each other with a complex system that is over 18,000 kilometers in BC, with millions of distinct electrical equipment and over 100,000 structures. BC Hydro is the electrical utility largely responsible for planning, building, and maintaining this system across the province of British Columbia. As engineers and asset managers for BC Hydro, our function is to ensure we deliver the best value for ratepayers using a mix of technology and business practice. As the power system ages, the asset management group has been working with our internal R&D, other utilities and industry groups to look at alternate materials that could provide solutions for asset replacements going forward. While BC Hydro primarily uses wood, steel, and concrete for transmission size structures, there is also an interest in engineered composite materials. The materials are increasingly used in industry and have comparable technical properties and life cycle costs to traditional materials. We are looking at developing structures that would have a high strength to weight ratio and be suitable for working in electrical environments. It is also important that we have structures with low maintenance requirements and resistance to rot, corrosion, chemicals and pests. The North American electrical system was built over three decades ago. As technology evolves, we are looking into new technologies as well. As BC Hydro is looking into modernizing the system, we are looking into new technologies and new solutions for our engineering and asset management challenges. RS Technologies has been involved with BC Hydro through partnership to develop uh, composite structures for the transmission and distribution applications. This journey has led to a number of applications uh, using composite materials throughout the province of British Columbia. What we've tried to achieve is to develop structures capable of carrying loads of over 230 kilovolts with spans over 1,500 feet. It's suitable for applications in challenging environments. BC Hydro came to Transmission Innovations about three years ago and uh, requested that we come up with an innovative product to uh, solve a problem that they had with their aging system. And uh, we came up with the FRP design uh, uh, that's currently in use. It's been in testing for three years now at Powertech Laboratories. And uh, today is the uh, culmination of uh, all that testing and field trials. BC Hydro service environment is dispersed and challenging. Solutions that reduce mobilization costs provide great value in project planning. This structure has a potential for rapid construction due to its relative light weight. The composite material has low maintenance requirements. This presents a cost-effective alternative structure for power line transmission. I've been doing uh, transmission work for over 20 years. We've used both wood and steel. Crews had no problem assembling the composite structure. In areas where there's good access, it gives us another tool for our toolbox. For us, composite materials are a relatively new approach to power line transmission. We've used composite products in the past and feel that it has definite benefits for specific situations. It's great to be consulted by our engineers when developing these new structures. Well, I've never been exposed to this kind of technology before, but I think it's a very interesting potential replacement for wood or steel pole structures. Yeah, we've been installing these 287 kV FRP cross arms for the last year. We like the product. Uh, they're very light, they're flyable. We find them easy to work with and the installation is, is such that it's a positive experience for us. So right now we're happy with the product and uh, we're looking forward to using it in the future. The goal of asset managers at BC Hydro is to manage the assets to provide safe service to customers, to provide reliable service to customers and to do that in a uh, cost-effective manner for the benefit of all British Columbians. The concerns in managing assets for BC Hydro is the fact that the infrastructure is aging and we're looking for innovative solutions that are cost effective and uh, also have a minimal impact on the environment. BC Hydro undertakes a number of uh, pilot projects to demonstrate composite materials and our experience has been that uh, both the line crews and the public um, are very receptive to the new ideas and new work methods that we put into place. BC Hydro uses our R&D group to identify innovation opportunities and to collaborate with others to take these ideas and bring them into our organization, working with our asset managers to come up with solutions for our system that continue to be safe, reliable, and cost-effective for our customers. Together, we have provided innovative solutions for engineering asset management requirements. The structures we have so far designed and installed on BC Hydro's system 
have been based on very rigorous engineering analysis and testing. The BC Hydro Composite Materials Initiative builds on collaboration between asset management, R&D, engineering, technology companies, and operations. BC Hydro recognizes the tremendous value of having our R&D expertise anticipate and meet the technical challenges which we face. Clearly, technology will play an increasingly important role in reducing the total cost of asset ownership and impact how BC Hydro operates in the future.